Hi all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to share some heartbreaking news with you about a missing little two-year-old, almost three-year-old, little boy from Clinton County, Michigan, who police say wandered away from his home on Monday, October 9th of 2023, while his babysitter was in the shower. Hundreds of people assisted police in the search for little Jermaine Jones after he was reported missing, and unfortunately, I just heard that he was missing today, so as I worked on his story to get it out to you, the worst news possible came in. His little body was found in the Looking Glass River, not far from where he went missing. He was pronounced deceased, and police gave a short briefing to deliver the heartbreaking news. Little Jermaine Jones was reported missing on the afternoon of October 9th after his babysitter couldn't find him. He was autistic and nonverbal and was last seen without any socks or shoes on his feet. Police immediately began to search for him, and hundreds of volunteers joined in their search that went well into and overnight. Then, on day two, the search began again, with only leads from two witnesses who claimed to have spotted him alone about a quarter of a mile from his home, then a short distance further north from there. The witnesses who claimed to have seen him said they spotted him in a backyard and somewhere else, but they didn't know him, so they didn't know he was missing and shouldn't have been in those places. Dive teams searched bodies of water, helicopters used heat-seeking devices to search cornfields, and police asked farmers to hold off on harvesting their fields with any big equipment until they searched their land and gave them the go-ahead to proceed, all in hopes that precious little Germain may have taken refuge in a field for shelter. But, unfortunately, that was not the case. This evening, the search for a missing toddler has come to a tragic end. It is our top story today at 5. Thank you for joining us. I am Sherry Jones. Clinton County Sheriff's officials say the body of two-year-old Jermaine Jones was found in the Looking Glass River by a dive team around 4 o'clock today. This comes after a massive search effort that included multiple law enforcement teams and hundreds of volunteers over a huge part of Clinton County that you can see right here on this map. Our dear Lynn Horn has been at that search site all day long, and she joins us now with a live report. And Daryl, this really isn't the outcome that we were all hoping for. Sherry, we've been at the scene all morning and we've been just here waiting for any outcome of that search for two-year-old Jermaine Johnson. We just learned that his body was found actually in this river right over here. Uh, officials on the scene tell me that it was found under, under a bridge just moments ago and this is obviously a very tragic, tragic end to this search. We do know from law enforcement that the boy's body was found by dive teams in a river near the home where he went missing. We also know that more than 500 people signed up to volunteer in the search, including people from counties all over Michigan, including in Metro, Det Metro Detroit. And obviously, this is not the outcome that any of them wanted, including the family. Now, those close to the family say Jermaine, they finding this out is just devastating. They're just devastated by this news. This is not the outcome anyone wanted, but they wanted to thank everyone who came out here and volunteered, including law enforcement, drone teams, everyone that took time out of their days to find the missing two-year-old who we now know has been found dead. Of course, we'll bring you the very latest tonight at six o'clock, but in the meantime, I'll send it back to you. Here for you in Wakusta, Daryl and Horn, Six News. May God bless little Jermaine Jones and his family, who are no doubt in unimaginable pain right now, along with all the 500-plus searchers who went out to help find him and to the police and divers who put in countless hours looking for him. They need our prayers after this horrible outcome. I'll play the short press conference police gave after they found him in the river for you. And I thank you so very much for watching and caring about little Jermaine Jones' story. A young man's been found in the Looking Glass River west of Bower Road and is confirmed deceased. So I ask that uh, everybody think about the family, pray for the family, for those who pray. And I want to once again thank everybody who's helped us and, and everybody else that's been involved in this in this search. So I thank you all and uh, 
if anybody has further questions, reach out tomorrow at the office. Was okay. it uh, the road over here, uh, Sheriff? I saw that uh, some Oakland County uh, Sheriff deputies are leaving the area, and looking from a map, it looks like uh, that farmland intersects with the uh, Looking Glass River. Was that where the boy was? The, bo the, the dive team, one of the dive teams, there's many dive teams working today, but one of the dive teams recovered. I don't know which one, but they just found the, the boy shortly after the last press conference. He was located. So we're still waiting. There's going to be an MEI investigation, and then the body is going to be, you know, taken to Sparrow Hospital for the morgue, and we'll go from there. Anything you would like to say to the community, Sheriff? Uh, you know, we had hundreds of folks. Yeah, one thing, I, like I said before, we're so fortunate in this county that people come together to help each other, and that's the way it should be. And I cannot express the gratitude for all of the hundreds, I mean hundreds. Uh, we know we had over 500 volunteers just volunteers today that doesn't count the hundreds we had last night all through the night so i'm very thankful we all are and it's just a testament to our community is there a way people can uh, help out the family this time? I, that will be something if there's like a gofundme or something that's put up that that we're, once we're notified we will put it out on our facebook or we'll let the media know okay and how uh, has the family already been notified, I'm assuming? Yeah, the family has been notified. And our victim support team is here with them currently. Anything else? I don't know the exact time yet, but it was within five minutes of me being done talking to you guys at the previous press conference. And it was one of the professional guys. Yes. Yeah, all of the dive teams that are here are professional dive teams. It was one of them that located him in the river. And it's been confirmed it's, it's our missing child. And I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, um, it did appear that it was any At this point, we don't rule anything out, but we, at this point, we do not suspect foul play at all. But we will not, that's why we have the medical investigators come in here. That's why there will probably be an autopsy. We want to cross all of the T's and dot all the I's. Anything else? Um, volunteers, uh, is there anything you want to say to people that Oh yeah, I, I've said it multiple times, but I can't thank them enough. We're very, very fortunate to live in this county where people come together during tragic times. Thank you. Whenever we have a missing person, but especially a missing child, we're always hoping to find the person or the child alive. The longer the time goes, we know the less likely that's going to be. Um, we were hoping until we found out otherwise. We were hoping that he would be found alive, but unfortunately that's not the case.